Dix, 578-1007. Or 800-348-1007. Alan Cox. A drummer. Not even a real musician. He just makes a noise. If he played the violin or the piano, anything that made sense but the drums. 100.7 WMMS. She thinks she missed the train to Mars. She's out back counting stars. these guys yeah this is a band called hum they had a couple of hits this is their biggest one the huge hit. i played in a band that opened for these guys one time this was a band from the uh, university of illinois it started it in champaign urbana and a guy knew a guy and a band i was in opened for hum there was a bar called mabel's on campus we're talking like 92 maybe but these guys were real good they got signed I think they broke up like a year after the album came out but Steve Albini worked with them and and then they put out a new album a couple of years ago they hadn't done anything in 20 years but they were real good they kind of they kind of predated grunge by couple of years but they were a really good college band for a minute anyway I mentioned them because we're doing 90s all weekend on the buzzard and I always like those weekends because I, I don't know if this song is going to pop up but I always uh, Rob are of, you listening yes, <laughs> it's a lot of a lot of deep cuts in the mix and then uh, all holiday week I think we're doing a bunch of double shots. Double shots. Double yeah. shot of hum, everybody. Whatever their other song was. Hum. He said hum. Hum. <laughs> yeah, stars. This was the big one. And then they... I don't remember what the other one was called. The pod, maybe? Well, this is a good one, boy. Just hit you in just the right spots. Right in the nostalgia. <laughs> this is a band that I wonder if uh, Rivers Cuomo ever listened to or I mean I guess they didn't really I think Weezer they only pre, they only them, yeah. they only predated Weezer by a few years but these did guys, they even predate Weezer? These guys were late 80s. Yeah, they didn't okay. even blow up till the early 90s but but this drum breakdown is friggin' fantastic and the riffs were good and I don't know how the reunion album did a couple years ago but we got some stuff. Here we go. Oh, does that cymbal choke in there? Give me a break. Beautiful. Anyway, I don't know if Hum is going to get played on the 90s weekend, but if there's any uh, justice, uh, maybe they will. But those weekends are fun. What's this song you sent me? Oh, this is the song of the song summer, Song of the baby. summer? <laughs> this is just, it's, it's a love song. It's a pop song. It's going to make everybody, you know, it's it's just... It's an earworm. It says, don't skip English class. Is it'll, this something that's lost in translation? A little. Just, you know, I, I don't think so. But there's no expletives? No. Okay. I don't know you and me are like Coke and Icy. Coke and Icy. Together, do it, do it will become yummy. Oh, so yeah. yummy. You want me, make you happy. I need you right now, honey. Lamu is okay, but turn not. I know this sometimes see we do talk like a baby. Oh, no homo is what he's singing. Yeah. Yeah. But he's, he's, 
Sometimes I talk like a baby. Sometimes I is talk the song like a baby? called No Homo? I don't know what it's called. I just saw it on Instagram. I love you, but not in a gay way. Is yeah, what he says. There you go. Yeah. Hey, hey, be. Finally, I know this. You love me like you love mommy. Love your mother. Coca cannot live. I see. Love you like sugar daddy. Mother, love <laughs> is so gay, but not in a homo way. <laughs> I not gay. All I'm right, well, listen. Um, good for them. Somebody tried to explain one time the reason that so many Japanese pop songs are about food is because there are so many things in Japan that you're forbidden from making songs about. But food isn't one of them. So, so many Japanese pop and rock, you know, songs are about food. Uh, bubble gum, or I love chocolate, or you know, South Korea is kind of the same way. Coke right? and icy, yeah, maybe. Um, I love you, but not in a gay way. Well, that's got to make her feel good, right? They're just playing basketball, you know. She clearly just and then got he out of dunks on her hard at the end. Of school. <laughs> and... Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, at the very end, he dunks on her hard. Mm-hmm. Why does he say icy instead of just Because he doesn't ice? know how to speak English well. Well, a lot of times these, uh, I'm playing a Japanese metal band tomorrow night on Two Hours to Midnight, and they only sing in English. They know English, but back in the day, there were a lot of Japanese bands that didn't at all. They would just sing. They get the pronunciation right, though. The phonetics, yeah. yeah. Like, um, you I know. Think uh, he got the, I don't think he did a deep dive on this. An American songwriter would write lyrics. They would sing them in English, but they would just learn them phonetically. They didn't know what they were singing. But this guy, um, maybe he knows English. Doesn't seem like it. Do it, do it will become yummy. Oh, so yummy. yummy. You want me, me. And does this work on Japanese girls when a guy sings like this? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know anything about BTS other than who they are and that they're massive. I couldn't tell you one of their songs, but they're not singing about food, right? They're singing about they're like a boy band. Yeah, they're I boy love band you, girl. And, and, yeah, and, but, but I think they still do a good amount of like food. Type but they're not stuff. doing no homo, right? No, they're not doing yeah. that. So they're not doing what this guy's doing. You have me, I need you right now, honey. Love is so gay, but not in a homo way. <laughs> no homo. I know this sometimes see, we do talk like a baby, talk like baby. Finally. You love me like you love mommy. You love me like you love, love mommy. mommy. Yeah. Sometimes we Which talk like a baby. Which is almost worse. Yeah. I mean, that's a. Uh, He's that's, really stepping yeah, on a lot of landmines here with this thing. But I wonder if it. Uh, who is this? I don't know. It just. It, someone it just popped up on Instagram. On it. Yeah. Okay. And then he dunks on, I'm not gay. That is an earworm, That is an earworm. It's a melody. Someone's going to be walking around tomorrow, probably out there visiting you at uh, the Upper Decker. Yeah, (laughs) Portage (laughs) Lakes. Portage Lakes going, I'm not gay. I love you, but not in a homo way. Well, all right. I assume he means a homo sapiens. Right. Yeah. He loves her, not in a human way, Hmm. uh, in a meta-human way, in a way that uh, he can barely... Wow, well, that... um... You're not far off calling that the song of the summer. It's got legs. It's got yeah, legs. It really does. Alan, I want so badly to know what drunk Sue's house looks like. <laughs> well, be careful what you wish for. I mean, the dog's mm-hmm. peeing on the blanket and, you know. Yeah. No, imagine uh, her house could be beautiful. I don't know. Could be. Alan, is your Portage Lakes event allowing signups or is it just for finalists only? I will carve out some time in the beginning of it for you to, uh, yes, last minute, sign up. And then we'll get everybody together, and somebody will, at the end of it, 4 o'clock, we'll have our winner for the trip to Hawaii. But, yeah, if you want to come out and, and, and sign up last minute, um, we can do that. Is Amy out there? Yeah. Open, no. that, open, the, yeah, she right. open the door, right? right? If I can ask her. She's never here. Amy. Last minute signups tomorrow in Portage Lakes. Yes. Cool. Yes. Last minute signups. I wanted to make sure that I that would just make life terrible for Amy, mm-hmm. our promotions director, if um, people were lining up to do that and then couldn't and then couldn't. I have to call an audible. I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> Alan Sue's Buick Enclave has a V6. Doesn't that make it a sports car by your definition? Yeah. Muscle well, car. It's a muscle car. She's got a muscle car. According to Alan. I just didn't want to throw you under the bus if... Well, if, well, if Right. I just wanted to make sure. I wanted to make sure. Thank you. Gotcha. We'll pull alternates and things like that. Okay, good. I just didn't want to um, make her life difficult. Yes, no, that Buick Enclave, that's a real muscle car. <laughs> Fired up like a V6 muscle car, Bill? Exactly. Is that what you, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He's, oh, man. That car's probably got 98 horses. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll be singing that song all weekend. Uh huh. Playing at the pool. You love me like you love mommy. <laughs> Alan, I'm 50, and I think 90s bands are better than 80s bands. What do you guys think? I mean, I'm firmly in that. Era. Yeah, I, I mean, I I I was class of '89, so I was coming into college and everything just before grunge and and um. 80, I wasn't into hair metal. I liked heavy metal, but I wasn't into hair bands, and that's what a lot of the 80s were, so I wasn't into your poisons and your firehouse and your tricksters and stuff like that. Um, so when grunge came around, I could not have been happier. Lonely Island did a song called No Homo, much better. I haven't heard that, but you know what? It's I'm not. I'm going to say I bet it's not better because they were doing it as a goof. This is legit. Yeah. This guy's doing it. I don't think he's a doing genuine a genuine song. song. Yeah, no, he's trying a to, genuine song. He thinks he's got a hit on his hand. Yeah. Uh, Crystal Lake. That is not the band. Crystal Lake is not the heavy metal band that I'm talking about. The Japanese band, but I think they're associated with them. They're called Sable Hills, unless they change their name. But there were a handful. You know, the band Loudness in the '80s and Easy O. There was a whole wave of Japanese metal bands in the '80s, but they kind of. Um, petered out as quickly as they showed up. Um, but anyway, so uh, maybe I'll play, maybe I'll slip uh, the earworm in uh, tomorrow night. On there the you show. go. Slide it. <laughs> if you listen to us on iHeartRadio, uh, tell me where you do it. Uh, if you're from out of state, I like to know where people are. I have this map behind me. It ain't for my health, so I know where everybody is. Um, Justin is a bureau chief in Phoenix. Eddie is in West Lynn, Oregon. Some new listeners. Tracy in Alexandria, Virginia. Colleen is a new bureau chief in Sarasota. Sean is in Pittsburgh. And we have somebody in um, Pomfret, Maryland. Who do we have in Pomfret? We have Trucker Ron. We have a single bureau chief in Pomfret, Maryland. And they had big news there in Pomfret. Uh, of a really gross variety. Ooh, gross news. And um, a manure truck crash. Manure. I hate <laughs> manure. <laughs> it's like a ma with a newer. How could that be bad? To a rather stinky situation yeah! in Pomfret. Last evening, a manure truck spilled after an accident at a tricky intersection. It's, it's just, just splattered all over this guy's car and the side of the house and the... Connecticut City Boyle brings us an update on the cleanup. Was this preceded by a skateboard chase? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like Biff? Yeah. Back to the future. He's the guy who hates manure. Right. Yeah. I heard bang, like bang, bang, bang loud metal. Anne Bedard was inside her house when a truck transporting manure... Ro- Anne Bedard? Is that what they said? Anne Bedard. Anne Bedard. Hold over. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the the truck was upside down. You could literally see tires, and it was still kind of like in motion. And it finally came to a stop after it Look hit my neighbor's car. On Tuesday Ooh. evening, the truck rolled over Hold at on. the intersection. And it's a white car, too. Can you play the Back to the Future theme under this by chance? Oh it boy. would just make it more authentic. It, it would make more sense. Um, do I have that? Gotta get back in time. No, no, okay. no. Like the oh, power of love. No, no, not not either of those songs. Like the actual like oh the theme. theme. Oh yeah. God. Uh, I don't know if I can run those two at, at the, the same, same time. time. Yeah, okay. they're on the same channel. All right. Wait, hold on. Shape up, man. No, that's a drop. No, I don't. Um. Before you set the clock on your microwave. No, that's something else. Mm-hmm. 
my neighbor's car. On Tuesday evening, the truck rolled over at the intersection of Deerfield Road and Brayman Hollow Road in Promfret, spilling manure onto her and her neighbor's property. Literally. A Wait, is it Pomfret or Promfret? Sound like she said Promfret. I don't know. Road in Promfret. Spill- Promfret. Yeah, she said Promfret. What? I thought it was Pomfret. Promfret. Pomfret. Oh, this is Connecticut. Oh, maybe he's not. <laughs> Playing manure yeah, onto her and her neighbor's She doesn't even know where she is. over at the intersection of Deerfield Road and Brayman Hollow Road in Promfret, spilling <laughs> manure onto her and her neighbor's property. Literally a waterfall of brown all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> a waterfall of brown. Oh, boy. I love it. We got a sounder for the, we got the, sounder for the summer. Yep. <laughs> waterfall of brown. That's when Pound Cake goes out to Kalahari. That's what mm. they call it. Literally a waterfall of brown. All of a sudden, we see brown the season. sewer come Every out. Every time they the win, <laughs> it's a waterfall of brown. Truck, and it was just flooded down our property. First responders arrived at the scene, and crews began cleaning up the mess. They were able to remove a lot last night. We should be done with the cleanup in the next hour or two, and then by the end of day tomorrow, everything should be relumed and seeded. Everybody that came to clean it up, and the fire department, and those guys were here it's cleaning up the road and everything. So I say kudos to all of them. Diesel and hydraulic fluid spilled out of the truck, but the fire chief said it shouldn't impact the well drinking water. Oh, yeah. Make coffee with it this morning. Cool. That's my tea. And while she's glass. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'd be worried about in the water. Not the poop. The liquid poop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, poor Ann Bedard. Yeah, it's Pomfret. The girl says Pomfret. What's with all these TV reporters, by the way, who talk like their jaw is wired shut? We got a few of those here in Cleveland. I'm not going to name names because they're trying to make a living, but there's a handful of, uh, usually females, a handful of uh, news, uh, weather type people on local television who just talk like, like they're not opening their, they're, they're talking through their teeth. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine they're teaching them that in J school, so I'm I don't know. Not gay. <laughs> <laughs> you love me like you love mommy. Say it through your teeth, though. Don't open I'm your... not gay. <laughs> I know. You uh, want to hear that again? I do. Is what you want to like hear? It. I like it. The song of the summer. Let me find it again. I don't know you and me are like Coke and Icy. Coke and Icy. Together. Oops. Do it, do it will become yummy. Oh, yeah. so yummy. You want me, make you happy. I need you right now, hug me. I need you right now, hug me. Mm-hmm. All right. Love is so gay, but they're not in the home away. <laughs> You know how babies say no homo a lot? Right, That's what he that, means yeah. by that. I'm not gay. Uh, and he dunks on her at the very yeah, end, this guy. Dunk on his... Man. Could I do this if I were gay? Mm-hmm. All right, well, there's the new one from Waterfall of Brown. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. Good luck getting that one out of your uh, system this weekend. Song of the Summer. No, I don't know what that's... People are asking you what it's called. It's, I don't know. Google Japanese pop song, on, no homo. I I'll put it on my Instagram story. Yeah. And you can find it from there. It's yep. M- Mr. Yang English 177. It's on my Instagram story now. Beautiful. I bet that truck left one hell of a skid mark, said Mike and Parma. Well done, yep. Mike. There you go. Waterfall of Brown, the lady <laughs> says. <laughs> and Bedard. I'm just sitting out here having my coffee, and all of a sudden it's a waterfall of brown. It wasn't even brown, by the way. Those sewage trucks, it's like that thick, grayish. Oh, it's just gross, you know? Yeah. It's not like your standard, like, dry-looking manure. It's like that liquid sewage splattered all up against this person's white car and house. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take a break here. I'll have those Cedar Point passes for you shortly if you want to get out 